these uh, you know these coal miners and their families told her that you know we appreciate what you're doing we're conservative but like you know we appreciate this and now she says that they would identify as socialists Which side are you on? Which side are you Listeners will recall that a couple weeks ago I participated on a panel discussion organized by Southern chapters of the Democratic Socialists of America to raise money for the striking coal miners. Listeners donated uh, during the panel, and the fundraiser is still up through the end of the month. They had a goal of 15000 and they have now passed it. Their fundraiser is currently sitting at just under $17,000. If you want to help them get to $18,000 or $17,000 before the end of the month, the link is in the show notes. Um, and uh, on that note, I got a chance to attend a an additional fundraiser that was held this week. Uh, and this one was... Um, we had gosh it was jobs with jobs with justice uh southern workers assembly uh, a few different labor unions and a couple of other organizations all collaborated um friend of the show cooper caraway was the mc of the event uh braxton and hayden wright were interviewed as well as uh, vice president larry spencer um yeah it was, it was a great event our, our dear brother lee bain sent in a recording uh for a little musical entertainment and uh, I do not know how much money they raised other night. Uh, and in fact, it was the night we had tornadoes and, and bad storms. So it was kind of hard to, to stay stay with it the whole time. Uh, but from what I recall, I know Chicago Federation of Labor gave $5,000 while we wow. were sitting there listening. Um, and, and there were quite a, a lot of us in the comments, you know, just chipping in 10, 20 bucks where we could. So between the DSA fundraiser, uh, as well as this fundraiser just last week. Um, really great to see that, to see the solidarity. And uh, even those of us who, who don't have the money to contribute, you probably know someone who does. Uh, and that's where, you know, sharing this stuff, uh, having conversations with your friends and family about these issues can make a difference. Because even if you don't have five bucks to spare, you might know someone who does. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, in fact, might know someone who has a lot more than five dollars to spare. And you might not even realize it, but, uh, you know, it's hard not to listen to the story. Uh, you know, these stories being told by folks like Braxton and Hayden and, and the lives that have been shaped by the strike and have been shaped by the BS that led to this strike and, and the obscene working conditions. It's hard not to be moved by that. Yeah. And, and it's uh, really a testimony uh to the solidarity that is out there. However, you know, insufficient it may be, as small as we may be as a movement, um, we're still here. We're still doing the best we can. We're still out here raising money for folks, supporting strike funds, uh, and, and working on behalf of people we've never met, people who may not look like us or, or talk like us or, or live like us, uh, but they're our fellow working class brothers and sisters uh, and, and we know that an injury to one is an injury to all. So it's really, it's inspiring. Uh, and something that Larry said in this, the one I attended this week, was how much it's really boosting the morale when the miners and their families see these kind of fundraisers and Zoom meetings and all these different organizations that they may have never even heard of that come out of the woodwork to, to chip in money, chip in supplies, just show solidarity publicly. Uh, I, I think that's uh, it's a big deal. And I, I have to imagine, and Jacob, you're closer to it than I am, but I'm, I'm going to guess that some folks have had their eyes opened in terms of who's on their side and who's not on their side. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's true. Um, Kim Kelly is closer to it than any of us, I believe, and she said that there are people who um, who were consistent Republican voters would have before when the strike began. She said described themselves to her as conservatives. So when the strike began, Kim Kelly started covering the strike. These uh, you know these coal miners and their families told her that you know. We appreciate what you're doing. We're conservative, but like you know, we appreciate this. And now she says that they would identify as socialists. So you know, and that's not to say all of them by any means no, or anything like not. that. But I think the point stands strong there. That again, whenever you're in a bind, 
you kind of figure out who your friends are and yeah. who they aren't. Exactly. And these folks uh, have had zero help from anyone in the Republican Party, right. not a whole lot from the Democratic Party, um, you know, and, and absolutely nothing from the people who isn't are supposed that, to represent them in yeah. their districts. Isn't that crazy? Like, I know that the Tuscaloosa Democrats, I believe they have donated some amount. And of course, Chris England has and the been state party consistent. has, you know, I'll, I'll give but, credit to the state party. Um, Wade Perry's the executive director down there. They have been. You know, doing some consistent messaging about the strike and and like you said, I think Chris England being the chair of the state party and also being right there in the neighborhood that mm-hmm. seems to have helped. Um, but you all, but you know, in terms of I guess Democrats more broadly, it it hasn't been as huge of an issue. Well, but it, even those people that are supporting the strike, like I think that the, I mean, I don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Totally speculating here, but I think that that fifteen thousand dollars is more from from socialists across the country is more than they've gotten from Democrats. Like, isn't that bonkers? Yeah, and, yeah. You know, I mean, and uh, they, they certainly <clears throat> haven't publicized it. Like, right. they have not put it out. If they have made, and I'd love to hear about it. Like, if you know, if you're listening, uh, you know, Hayden regularly listens to the show. Like, if you're listening and you're like. Oh no! Actually, the Alabama Democratic Party donated twenty thousand or thirty thousand to us. Or, um, well, listen, or, I know, mean, like, let us know. But right. as far as I know, like socialists have raised more money for <laughs> for them than yeah. Democrats and Republicans. Well, I mean, Democrats in Alabama have a hard time raising money for themselves, or even no, putting they, candidates on the well, ballot. Dude. I mean, th- they have uh, a problem putting candidates yeah. on the ballot, but they've got like. They're spending, uh, they spent like a yeah. million dollars last year. Fair enough, yeah. You're right, you're right. I don't know where they're getting the money from, but they spent like a million dollars last year in a non-election. Like, I don't even know what they, uh, somebody said Tabitha uh, Tabitha Isner is somebody who's kind of involved in that world, and she said, like, so she said that, like, that, that the, the party spent, like, a million dollars last year. And somebody was like, on what? And she said, uh, over a dozen highly paid staffers. And so, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how effective those highly paid staffers are. Yeah. Well, and, uh, you know, not to belabor the point, but at the end of the day, this is an important this is an important part of Alabama's history that we're, we're mm-hmm. in right now, as you brought up. It's the longest strike in our history now. Um yeah, I, I mean, over a billion dollars siphoned out of our state, out of these neighborhoods, off to Wall Street. Yeah. It's obscene, and you know, regardless of how you may feel about the coal industry, um, you know, I, I, I remember one day we were talking about the strike, and I had on my shirt that was from Gasp, the Greater the Greater Airline, uh, Birmingham Alliance to Stop Pollution, and and one of the great organizations out here in the state doing good work against mm-hmm. uh, pollution and climate change. It is possible to to be against climate change and believe that fossil fuels have to be a thing of the past if we're going to move forward as a species, while at the same time supporting these brothers and sisters down there. It's, you know, it's not exclusive. And I have, you and I have talked about this. We've seen folks like online and uh, and some of the, you know, I guess liberal types who more or less uh, don't want to support the miners because of coal or don't want to support the miners because they think they're all a bunch of, you know, uh, white Trump supporters, which is they're not all white. They're not all Trump supporters. Forty percent of the people on strike are black. Absolutely. It's a very diverse union. And you know what? I, I don't care who they voted for that's not going to make a difference into whether or not i think they deserve to win this strike and they deserve to live in dignity and i'll chip in a few bucks that i have to help them do that yeah don't care what what they believe absolutely absolutely support for this program also comes from the iron workers local 477 so if you are looking for contractors with lower than average emr and trir 
uh, they tell me that if you need to know what those mean, then you will. Uh, or if you need to supplement a workforce at any level for any amount of time, short or long term, if you need iron workers that come trained and certified at no extra cost, or if you need workers from superintendent down to general laborer and you're looking to start work on a project or you're unhappy with your current contractor situation, you need to call my friend Jeb Miles with the Iron Workers Local 477. They only work with the best in the business, vetted contractors, and can do all kinds of jobs from roofing to steel and bridge erection, from welding to heavy rigging, from structural repairs to machinery alignment, and much more. They supply manpower on four of the five largest projects in North Alabama, so you know they're legit. If you need good quality, safe, efficient, diligent, and knowledgeable workers on your job, then you need the Iron Workers Local 477. Call Jeb Miles at 256-383-3334 or via email at local477 at bellsouth.net and make sure you tell them that you heard about them on the Valley Labor Report.